Hello and Assalamu alaikum. I'm Trust and Diagnostics here. This is the CBCQ of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest um, has not been highlighted, but we focus on the upper jaw at this current moment. Um, as you can see, we've got a lone BDR in the upper right quadrant. This is the upper right um, second molar. Um, significant bone loss here, as you can see. We don't see any periapical reducencies around the tooth, but we do see very significant cavitation on the parietal side right here, mesial parietal side, and very significant involvement of the um, it's periodontally significantly involved. Um, when we move to the region of the six, we've got D4 quality bone, approximately six millimeters of ridge width and just seven millimeters of height. Um, sorry. Uh, moving to the upper right five region, we've got excellent bone here is a BDR, uh, but beneath that nine millimeters of ridge width with 11 millimeters of height, um, so excellent for implant placement. The region of the four, again, we've got very good quality bone, eight millimeters of width with 18 millimeters of height in both these areas have D3 quality bone. This is a canine, looks absolutely sharp, nothing problematic that we can see here. Um, the lateral incisor is a BDR significantly damage if it is extracted eight millimeters of width with 19 millimeters of height again immediate implant placement is possible the central the bdr and not treated with a periapical reducency so here also eight millimeters of width with 12 millimeters of height but immediate implant placement will not be possible uh, the central incisor on the upper left hand side again very similar to the right side um, periapical reducency seven millimeters of width with 14 millimeters of height. This is the lateral incisor on the upper left hand side, again, very significantly uh, mild treated. Um, seven millimeters of width with a good 18 millimeters of height, and here immediate implant placement is possible. So, if we're planning implants in the anterior segment, um, two implants in the anterior region will be able to support a four unit bridge here. This is the canine region on the upper left hand side. There we go. Uh, BDI periapical reducency, 10 millimeters of width with 18 millimeters of height. This is the BDI of the force again, 8 millimeters of width with 14 millimeters of height. And this is the five, which is uh, doing appropriate. Um, Sclerose canals here, uh, otherwise doing very well. The region of the six, we've got relatively better bone here. 8 millimeters of width with 7 millimeters of height, a short implant can be placed. Um, and in the region of the 7, we've got 13 millimeters of width with 6 millimeters of height. If you want us to place virtual implants, please let us know. Thank you very much.